Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. Did you know it'd be so easy that you could make absolutely everything furry in Unity? This is a URP fur shader by an awesome developer on GitHub and you can get the package for absolutely free. Today I'm going to show you how you can use it, the comparisons and how to actually install it and get it in your own package. And this shader does include three core features. It's got a shell, a fin and a fur polygon method. So first one is when you've got the shell method, it creates multiple layers or shells over the object surface and each shell is slightly larger than the last. It's covered with a semi-transparent texture which represents the fur and this is rendered on top of each other to give the illusion of depth and volume and it's often the most optimized way. The fin method is similar. This uses really thin polygons that protrude out of the model and these help to add additional detail and texture the edges of the model to make it look more realistic. Then we've got the fur polygon style, which is to try and simulate each strand of the fur. It is the most detailed and the most realistic, but it is the most expensive to use. And that's usually for scenarios with really close up details or sequences, especially when you don't need performance to be a big takeaway. So you can see the package on this GitHub page and you can check it out and it's got an MIT license. What I would recommend is you go to the card in the top corner and just download the zip, which will be the zip of the project. What I recommend when you download it is you add that to your own folder, you just extract that into a folder which you can actively use all the features. When you extract the files, you will get everything which is called the fur URP main and it's got everything here and it'll have an assets folder. What I recommend to do is rename this assets folder because that has everything in that's related to this package. So I just renamed that to fur package and what we're going to do is drag this entire folder into your Unity project. So when you're into Unity, you can drag the fur package and you get all the demo assets and things that you can use along with a demo scene and other stuff. You can go into the fur folder and you go to the scenes and you'll see compare, fin, geometry, mover and shell. I've just opened up the compare and as you can see here, we've got three different ones. We've got the first one, which is using the fur shell method. We've got the second one, which uses the fin method. And the last one is using the geometry lit. And if you look at them when you play the game, you get different variations of how they look and you can have them that move around and you can even animate them. And while you're looking to furify everything, check all the links down in the description because there's Unity's spectacular sale with loads of visual effects and stuff now on. And there's also two bundles from Loretta Studio, one Unity and one Unreal. And it's got loads of massive Unity environments. And I've got a coupon code which gives you 60% off. And do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects. If we select the fur shell, you can see that it uses the fur shell lit. So it takes lighting into account. It does use an albedo texture. So you could, you know, change this to um, any other texture that might be relevant to your game. So we could have just a blue, which looks quite cool. You have settings for metallic and smoothness if you need it to look more shiny. Or otherwise, you've got ability to tile the fur noise texture. You've got a normal map, which is used to create the look of these different aspects of the hair themselves. You've got the normal scale, so if you adjust that, you get much bigger, or looks to be bigger strands of hair. You've got the shell amount, which looks like how far does this hair or stuff protrude from the object. You've got the step, which looks like the idea of density and things in there. You've got the alpha cutoff, so how far this should cut off when you're using it. The first scale, with how big each strand should be, and you can leave that at some reasonable value. And then you've got the occlusion, which is the recessed areas or the darkened areas to make it look like you know ambient occlusion was inside this object. Then you've got the ability to change the direction of which it would move, any of the wind frequency if you want it to adjust how it sways side to side. And then you've got the lighting strength, the lighting intensity and how it lights the edges of the model. In our second example, we've got the fin style, which has the same level of parameters and the same selections. But in this case, we've got a fur map which is these strands here. And you can see that it still has a normal map. You can still set the normal scale. You can set the face scale factor. So whether that's rendered in front or behind, you can look at the fin joints of where they're protruded through the model. The alpha cutoff, you can select the length so you can make really crazy long hair, increase the density and the direction threshold. So where it should be placed, wherever you're actually looking at. Again, the occlusion property and the random direction of how this should be. So you can adjust if it should be just a random looking hair or something that's slightly more organized. Again, you can look at the wind frequency and the wind move. You can adjust the tessellation but you have to be very careful with the value above one 
because it can ruin it and the lighting properties are still the same. We're going to look at the last one, which is the geometry lit, which again has the same parameters, but you can adjust the still the length because this almost creates little polygons that look like that will protrude from the surface. We've again got the fur joint, the occlusion, the random direction, or we can make it look smooth in this case, and any of the lighting. You can look at the tessellation, but in this one, this has got move scale, so you can have more control over how it should move, a spring sort of joint to make this more realistic, and then it can act against gravity too. I can imagine that being cousin it or something from the Adams family with that level of movement. You can look at the other scenes where you can see some fin examples, and you can even look at the geometry example, which is the polygon style. You can see that it will be affected by some movement because it's got a script on it, which causes it to move. And even as simple as you can see, when I change this blue, you can add it to other objects. It makes it look like there is a carpet or you can look at different leopard prints. And then you can look at different materials and I've dragged on this grass. And depending on the, obviously the tiling, you can just add it and it looks like there's grass that's appeared. You can look at different grids and you can look at the different geometry shaders with the different textures that have on there. And I downloaded the Unity Chan model and you can see that this has different materials and textures on it. Now, I just thought I would select the hair. I just duplicated one of the materials, which was the shell lit material. And then you can see that I can adjust the scale of certain aspects of it, the shell amount. Maybe I want the occlusion. I want it to be very fine hair by adjusting the scale. And I was just showing that you could actually use it on hair itself. So this was the original hair. Where, and then this one with the strands. And you can even do crazy things like I'll apply the grass shader to the top of this hair. And then if we maybe adjust the length of it slightly just so that it isn't as quite as crazy. Maybe, you know, we can adjust the density slightly. <laughs> now you can see that the character has simulated uh, grass on a head. So... You know, that's exactly how we wanted this to turn out. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this. And if you find it useful, do check out all the links in the description. Unity's spectacular sale is now on. And there's two bundles from Laratis Studios, which is a massive Unity bundle and Unreal bundle. And there's 60% off if you use the code ST60. And do be sure to also come and check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thanks to all my patrons, a special thank you to Peter Steiner and Very Shooter for their amazing support, and thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.